According to recent survey data, about half of Australian households own dogs. The average dog poops 124 kilograms of poop every year, which mostly goes to landfill, which is bad for the environment because it produces more methane gas, which is 25 times more potent than carbon dioxide at trapping heat in the atmosphere. Dog poo going to landfill comes at a cost, and an even bigger environmental cost. It requires collection in bins that get heavy and smell, collection is usually with a bag, and transport is needed to get dog poo to landfill sites. Buried dog poo creates an anaerobic environment, meaning there's no oxygen present, and this results in methane production from the layers of waste that have formed. In landfill, the dog poo nutrients such as nitrogen and phosphorus are wasted when they could be used to nourish plants and gardens. While some plastic bags used to collect dog poo are advertised as biodegradable, these might not actually biodegrade in the conditions provided by landfill and will break into smaller pieces that do not actually disappear. Compostable bags can degrade, but only in the conditions of being put into a compost bin and they will not work in landfill. Depending on the local council guidelines and capacity of sewerage treatment plants, you may be able to flush your pet's waste. Depending on the local council guidelines and capacity of sewerage treatment plants, you may be able to flush your pet's waste. These treatment plants include processes that are already designed to kill germs in human poop, and such processes are also effective against the germs in pet waste. Using sewers to manage dog poo disposal is a great, eco-friendly method. However, there are hurdles. Growing populations are pressuring sewer capacity, so the addition of dog poo means upgrades to sewage treatment plants will be required sooner, and this is expensive. In some areas, land to expand sewage systems is not available so this complicates it further. Dog poo down the loo also brings humans up closer and more personal with dog poo compared to bag, bin and berry methods. On the other hand, dog poo to sewerage has a lot of advantages. So if the issue of capacity is overcome, sewer lines provide the transport, dog poo undergoes three stages of treatment, and resulting biosolids can be reused. Dog poo to the loo is more hygienic, odors are eliminated, no plastic or bags are required, and the entire process is more circular. If your local council or water treatment service does not allow the pet waste to be flushed, the waste may also be composted, which would reduce the amount of methane produced, as well as killing some of the germs in pet poo when done correctly. Despite composting being effective at killing some germs, it is best to avoid using this compost to fertilize plants you intend to eat, and instead use them in flower beds or other similar gardens. There are several useful guides around composting pet waste that you can access online. For information about solutions to dog waste in your area, please check the Enviro Pet Waste Network website. The Enviro Pet Waste Network is a non-for-profit for people who want to help create a more sustainable future by repurposing pet waste, litter and bedding into useful soil enhancer. Thank you for watching.